Well, aren't you a little strange one? I know you are, but what am I? Ray Ray? What are you doing here? Now, is that any way to greet one of your oldest friends? Okay, hi. We kind of sort of agreed to never see each other again. Did we? I don't remember putting such a fine point on it. We did, we did, super fine. Five years ago in Detroit, I know you remember. Look, I'm sorry. I just, I miss you. Okay, it's not that I don't miss you too, okay? I just thought that this part of my life was over. The part with you in it, it's, it's a little too weird, okay? So please just go away. Just go I'm sorry, oh. uh, should I come back another time? No. Good. I'm all good. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm fantastic, actually. Just, you know, talking to myself. Mm -hmm. Smell you later, Lucifer. Uh, Miss Lopez? Hmm. Since when do you use that particular turn of phrase, smell you later? I've never heard you say that before. Oh, it's just something my friend Ray Ray says. And now you're here. Well, come on. Time to show yourself. Well, hello, Azrael. What, too cool to call me Ray Ray anymore? Well, endearing nicknames are reserved for siblings who didn't abandon me for millennia, so. But why are you here now, and how does Miss Lopez know of you? Oh. But don't worry, I'm not dead. I have no qualms with you interacting with humans. Well, come on. When Ella was in a gnarly car wreck when she was young, and I showed up to, you know, do my angel death thing. The what? Al Salam? It happens. This time, I don't know, I, I, I didn't want to leave. I mean, you know Ella. There's just something about her. She's so positive. She makes you feel like... Good about yourself. Yeah, exactly. I only ever get to talk to dead humans. I mean, they're so morose. Anyway, whenever I was in the neighborhood, I'd stop by, see how she was doing, and we became friends. But apparently, it's weird if people talk to invisible angels. So I told her I was a ghost, which didn't help. So I sent her to be out here with you. You did what? The first dad puts the detective here, and now you're trying to manipulate me with Miss Lopez. Why does everyone think I need help meeting women? Relax. I, I, I didn't do it for you. I did it for her. Well, both of you, I guess. See, since I couldn't really be with her, and I couldn't be with you, I thought at least two of my favorite people could be together. And that's the only reason that you're here? Pretty much. Listen, Azrael, 